Sports. And we'll see Foye Aluakon. He picked up a sack last week as part of an eight-tackle game. It's the Colts and the Browns just ahead on EA Sports. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And it'll be interesting to see pretty early in this one exactly where his head is because the best quarterback shake off performances like he had last week. Way too many interceptions. Didn't throw a touchdown pass. Team lost the game. Let's see if he can bounce back and get things going in the right direction. They'll be trying to forget those three picks, as you know. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Mahomes now to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And it's third down. You look at this Colt defense. They're slightly better than average against the run. Number 14 in the NFL. And that play right there shows exactly why they're so good against the run. Held the line of scrimmage, held the point of attack and stopped him for no gain. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 41, here's second and four. They run with a third-year man, Chuba Hubbard. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise that it was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Well, the Holmes can't get away, and down he goes. And that timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaking up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Mahomes going to throw. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. 23 yards to pick up there. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, 
And that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Mahomes now on first down. And Cooks hands it over the middle. Now get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. For the Sade Alurican, able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of this caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't book it in, and all of a sudden it's off the ground. A surprise to him. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out, an exciting second-year QB out of Liberty. Went through some growing pains as a rookie. Here's Malik Willis. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But just across the midfield strike, here's second down at seven. Kamara up the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 32. Seven yards there and a first down. With points of 500 and three and three through the season's first six weeks. The Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on, put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. The numbers there for Camaro from a week ago. 25 carries, 84 yards, and a touchdown. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try to keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep him in the football. Four yards, the pick up, first down. counter here's Kamara and he'll run straight into a lot of tacklers at the line of scrimmage it's second down here's second and ten and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first they expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Now Willis to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. 
Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Willis. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Yannick Ngakwe just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Willis looking to throw it. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Now they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. In motion left comes Brown. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and instead a give up the middle. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down. A check on the numbers last week for Hubbard. 24 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown as well. There were some signs of life from their ground game last week, but overall, just a so-so performance. Everyone knows they can make a slight improvement how they contribute to this aspect of the offense. Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer, and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane. If they do that, they should get some better numbers produced this week. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Phil Asante American. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And this Charles definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably cross that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. Willis will look to throw on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On second down, Kamara. And he'll get about five here, so he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Willis. And will find the open man. That's complete. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Try to pound it in, Kamara. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Miller will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Still Stay down. alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Third and goal, Willis. Touchdown. Rashad Bateman, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. 
And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Carlson's extra will be up and good. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's the all pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1 7 3, the score on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception in the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. From the gun on third down, Mahomes working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first down, McFarland. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. The Browns on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. It's Xavier Rhodes there in on the stop. This is second and eight. Willis will look to throw it. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him. And it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Willis to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense on that go-around. The offense won the challenge. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But from the gun, here's Willis. That is caught with Sean Bateman. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and given the first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller 
should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Miller. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good one there. They're going to take this to about the 10 yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. A 10th carry for Camara. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Offside. Defense. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. After the penalty, it's Miller. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now after the false start, here's second and seven. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he takes this one in for the first touchdown. Evan Kamara, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Colts go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Colts pick it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. So problems compounding. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The Browns drive about to get started. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. He'll get that complete to Reed. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. So the completion gets him just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I 
know it frustrates the coaching staff, and it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Willis looking to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. As a general manager, you're counting on your first and second round draft picks to have a big-time impact on your team. But where you make your bones, rounds three through seven. If you can find a few diamonds in the rough there, develop them, then you've got something going, and we're seeing one right here. Yeah, plays like that lead me to believe that they found a diamond in the rough. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Willis from the gun on third down. That's taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 19. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Oliver. Touchdown. Josh Oliver from 19 yards away. And the Colts are able to widen their advantage. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Carlson on for the extra point. And it's 21-3. So this drive spans seven plays, and the result for the Colts is a touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Cleveland offense making their way out, and this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. That is caught. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now it's Mahomes again. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. The 20! Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Hubbard diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown! Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Lutz good on the extra point, and it makes the score 21-10. 
So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game. How many yards they've accumulated. Because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. There's Willis. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the top football. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Right back to the air with Willis. And now look at this. Big game. A fumble. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it will come back to the spot of the fumble. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. discipline team going forward and no fireworks to start the half this will be a touchback the Colts going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter but Charles for them pretty good first half on the ground they had some success running the ball in quarters one and two and they've got the lead now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter yeah believe it or not you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first run second so for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. A quick throw there is incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. The shotgun snap to Willis. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six, and the Browns will take over first and ten. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. This one good carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. Now a second and ten. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step or step down and feel your man coverage and make a grab quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. That was all on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Browns send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. They begin on the ground with Kamara to the 22-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now it's Kamara in the passing game, and they'll get him down here at the 23. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Willis looks to pass it here. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And they will take over first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Pushes past him to about the 33-yard line. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Slot man moves right. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. Yeah, boy, now you see him, now you don't. Excellent move, nice run, winds up getting about six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Meanwhile, the home throw will take it in by Smith. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. There he goes, left side. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Chase Edmonds, 43 yards. And the Browns have got it back to within a score. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where he felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, 
that got done. Kevin Stefanski going to leave the offense out to go for two. And now we've got a man a little jumpy here. Maybe trying to block the extra point. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go, and the try for two is denied. to kick it off. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry him along. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 109 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Now second and nine. Inside handoff now, Miller. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. And the Browns getting set to go. They scored a touchdown the last time they had the football, but things going to be a little bit more difficult this time. Oh, certainly, because where they're starting, the goal isn't even thinking about a touchdown at this point. They're thinking about field position. A couple of first downs in order to give some room for their punter and maybe flip the field position for their defense. Two yards to go, second down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. Right back to Hubbard. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. It's a loss of four. Now third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. But I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here comes Rager. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. They're going to try and run. And he will not make it to the goal line here. So they'll be unable to bump this lead up to a field goal as it remains a one-point game. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And our game's had a little bit of a roll here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Camara gets it again on second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The Colts on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Here's Camara trying to run for it. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The Colts send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start by one of the option to the right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. See the athleticism there of Brian Burns stopping him behind the line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw it out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback, are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all these things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And that pickup on a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Over the middle, complete. That's Reed. He'll go down 
is a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Open man is Reed. He's got it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Fourier Aluakon finding his way to the ball for a stop. A tackle for loss. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Still second down. And the ball moved up here now to second and seven following the penalty. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. It's a gain of four there and gives him a new set of downs. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys in the career. And the Holmes can't get away. And down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Mahomes. He gets it to Cooks. That'll give him eight that time. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got him in. It's Brown. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously that's well short of the first. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot, so wide to the left. And this is going to remain a one-point game. Had a chance to give themselves there some important wiggle room, but what a ride. Yeah, let's do the simple math here. And you know, for me, it has to be simple. Instead of this thing kind of giving them that wiggle room you talked about, now we're talking about possibly losing a ball game because they left the door open. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Gallup in motion right, and they'll go on the ground. Seven yards there and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. First down, Willis. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll make it third down. Here's Willis. That's going deep for Bateman. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But oh my goodness, just too much air under the ball. And he knew it right away. 
And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them need up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down to the floor. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's going to have a Browns first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. He's taken down at the 33 Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. On the handoff, running left is Hubbard. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Some of the most unselfish players of any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this returnable for Rager. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And it will be first and ten as they take over. So the Colts now down 22-21. 35 seconds to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to land up incomplete. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Now Willis. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. He takes it across for the touchdown. They take it away right in the final minute of the third. Wow. Wow. CD, that was an all or nothing drive to win this football game, and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments. And how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. And now the Colts are going to keep the offense on the field as they'll go for two here. The Colts will line up for the two-point conversion. Well, they'll turn to Kamara. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass. So you spread people out, decide to run the football. You often find good running lanes. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll put it out to the 25. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, 
I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Mahomes. He'll get this underneath Edmonds. Now they burn the timeout. And they're kind of in that gray area where they might be able to get two plays in, but maybe just one play left in this ball game. We'll see. Trying again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Down to their last chance now. This is going to have to be a for the end zone. And just hope for a miracle. And I don't sit back with everyone back defending. I've got to have somebody rushing the quarterback. Don't make it easy for him to set up and throw the ball all the way downfield. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. What a game we were treated to in this one, and then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting into midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for Indianapolis, they move back over 500 now at 4-3. and three. And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Browns, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.